Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Reed Gray. I'm a realtor here in Greenville, South Carolina with Coldwell Banker Kane. And today we're going to talk about the top five areas of Greenville. So everybody loves downtown Greenville. There's no hiding that. It's got a lot to offer. But if that price point has kind of pushed you to look in different areas, let's talk today about some of the different areas of Greenville that might be a great fit for you. So first we have Malden. And I joke and call Malden the mecca of townhomes for Greenville, South Carolina. Go Going there, you're going to see a lot of properties that are townhomes, but what I like about that is that it offers a great opportunity for a first-time buyer to get into a property at a reasonable price point. Fun fact, that was actually the first property that I ever sold in, in Greenville when I started in real estate and kind of seeing what's happened with the prices there and, and what kind of equity that homeowner now has in his property is really exciting. So. Malden is a great place to live. Now, if you're not into townhomes, good news for you. They also have some really great established neighborhoods with single family homes that's so worth looking into. But what I really like about Malden is that it's so close to Conesty Nature Preserve. And so Conesty also homes Greenville Little League. I believe the big stadium there that you see if you drive by was actually previously the home of the Greenville, Greenville Braves minor league team. Now Bob Jones University plays their baseball games there, but it's a really great place. You can see in the background, I've got a hat, I've got a glove. I used to be a baseball player. So for me, that's kind of something that's near and dear to my heart. But now even more near and dear is my dog. And what's great about Conesty is they have a tremendous dog park. It's huge. If you've got a four-legged friend, take them out there, let them run around and have some fun. And it's also a really great place to meet people and kind of grow your community and build relationships there as well. So we talked a little bit about the real estate in Malden, some of the different things. We, we mentioned Conesty, but what I want to talk about as well is Bridgeway Station and what they're bringing to this area. It's going to be awesome. I believe that there will be some residences there. There's also going to be restaurants. If you're driving up 85, you're bound to see it. It's on your left. It's huge. It's going to be really great. And I love that they're tying this in to this community because I think it's going to offer a whole lot of living um, opportunities and for people just to kind of come and congregate in one area and why I really like it is there's not anything like it in Malden right now so in Greenville we see a lot of different communities that have a downtown area and Malden doesn't but they will soon so Bridgeway Station Conesty Nature Preserve if you're looking for a townhome this is a great place to be but again they also have some well-established single-family homes so Malden is a great place to look. So next we're going to look at Greenville's east side and Greer. The two kind of tie into one another, but they offer a really great lifestyle close to Pelham Road, all the restaurants, all the shopping. You're only 15 minutes from downtown Greenville. You're very close to GSP Airport. It offers a lot there. Some of the neighborhoods that I want to talk about are, we got Sugar Mill, you've got Cane Break, you've got Botany Woods, you've got the Greystone Cottages. It offers a lot of diverse living and caters to different buyers their wants and their particular needs. So in this area, you're bound to found kind of family-friendly neighborhoods, if you will. There's going to be a lot of community pools, tennis courts. You're going to see people walking. You're going to see kids playing in the neighborhood. It's really great. And one thing that's great about this is, again, it caters to all different people. So homes in the east side in Greer will start at roughly two thirty, and they'll range all the way up to $1.5 million, if you're, especially if you're looking into Thornblade and very similar communities to that. Another thing that I love about the east side in Greer is I've had the opportunity to sell several homes in this area. And what's great about it is, is that it ranges from first time buyers to people looking to kind of to move up. They want a bigger house. They want a more luxurious home. And that's why I love it is because this particular area, again, caters to so many different people. So if you're a first time home buyer or you're looking to get into a bigger home, your family's growing, you want to live in Sugar Mill, you want to live in Thornblade, hey, give me a call. It's a great place to be. So the next area I want to look at is Five Forks. Now, if you're willing to brave the Woodruff Road traffic, it might be a great place for you. And I don't say that to deter you from this area. I mention it for a reason because it offers various lifestyles, various different types of properties, and it really and truly may be a great fit for you. So fun fact, Five Forks is named after the five roads that intersect at one point. Cool. Reed, thanks for the information. I don't care. I'm here to learn about houses, man. 
Great. I've got you covered. So much like the east side and Greer, this offers a multitude of different properties to accommodate different lifestyles. Homes in this area will range from $215,000 all the way up to $1.7 million. So these properties are zoned for JL Man and Malden High, and they tend to come with slightly larger lots. So you're going to see roughly, you know, a third of an acre here. Not much smaller unless you're in a townhome or something like that. But I know sometimes people say, hey, man, I don't want to be stacked on top of my neighbors. I want a little bit of space. If that's you, let's look in Five Forks. If you know you want to be close to the interstate, you want to be close to Spartanburg, whatever it may be, you want to be a little bit more rural. Hey, that's a hard word to say, rural. Say that 10 times fast. Let's look in this area, but for some of the neighborhoods I recommend for Five Forks, let's look at Sparrows Point. Let's look at Riverwalk. Let's look at, you know, Five Forks Plantation. And if you really want to look into some upscale living, let's look into King's Bridge, you know, that neighborhood there, there was a property for sale last year and they don't come on the market a whole lot, but it was astonishing. It was roughly $2 million. You know, I saw another one come on the market recently for roughly 1.7 really high end homes. If that speaks your language. Give me a holler. Let's go check it out. So one thing I've got to mention about the Five Forks area is it's a growing area. There's a lot of new development happening there. And one in particular that I really like is the Hartness community. So very similar to Hollingsworth Park, if you watched my previous video, it's upscale living. It's a planned development. There's actually a hotel that just opened there. There's a really high-end restaurant there. Great amenities. You can go fish. You can kayak. You can play tennis, you can play pickleball, you name it. If this is what you're looking for, it's a great place to be. Homes in Hartness will start at roughly $800,000 and go up from there. But if that's your lifestyle, let's check it out. So the last neighborhood I want to talk about is Simpsonville. And I shouldn't say neighborhood, I should rather say kind of area of Greenville. And what I like about Simpsonville is it is so big. When I first moved to Greenville, I was like, man, I'm in Simpsonville. This is cool. You drive 30 minutes the other way and you're like, dang, I'm still in Simpsonville. It's got a lot to offer. Again, caters to different groups of buyers and what they want in their lifestyle, in their home. For me, it's kind of easy to tie five forks into Simpsonville. And I think that other people here in the upstate would agree with that. But what I love about it is it's kind of more a suburban neighborhoods, areas. And if that's what you're looking for, if that's what, where you want to live, where you want to raise your family, where you want to have a dog, let them run around in the backyard, let's check out Simpsonville. Now, one great thing about Simpsonville is their downtown area that's kind of been revitalized and rejuvenated. One thing that I love to do is go to the warehouse at Vaughn's, hang out. They've got a different, you know, different types of restaurants, bar, drink, all in one place. It's like a modern day food court. So super fun place to go. Even sometimes they do yoga outside. But the warehouse at Vaughn's is awesome. They've also got a sidewall pizza. They've got smoked barbecue. You can't go wrong with any of it. Saw a coworker of mine last night she was at their ice cream stand right on main street it's a really cool place to go and visit so simpsonville is great now if we're talking about some of the different neighborhoods that are in simpsonville i really recommend looking at neely farm stonehaven weatherstone much like the rest of our greenville market homes here move quickly with a median days on market being low they don't exceed eight days so what we see in greenville is that our market is moving quickly that Greenville is growing, that the people who want to be downtown, but those prices have kind of increased and they can't live there anymore. These are great places to look. And if that's you, you fall into the category, say, Reed, I want to live in Greenville, South Carolina, but I cannot afford the Augusta Road North Main prices. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Let's look in some of these different communities that we've talked about here in this video and find the right place for you because there are some really great options and you're still pretty daggum close to downtown. So it's got a lot of great things to offer. I hope that you've learned something great in this video. If you want to learn more, give me a holler. I love to talk real estate. I love to talk to you guys and I look forward to connecting. Thanks.